I'd like to welcome you all to Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown. We have uh, been talking this week about the fact that Jesus said for this purpose, this is in Luke chapter 4, he says that for this purpose I've come to declare that the kingdom of God is at hand. Well, then he tells all his disciples, sends them out and says, go preach that the kingdom of God is at hand. And the same thing for us. And we find out that in order for us to go and preach that the kingdom of God is at hand, that there's some things that go along with it. He says, and lay hands on the sick and cast out devils and raise the dead. In other words, those things will witness the power of the kingdom of God, that the world can see that the kingdom of God really is, is at hand. We then yesterday found out that in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 it says that you shall be endued with power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses for me. And so that's what we need to understand that we are ambassadors of Christ. We're to go out and witness on his behalf. Well today I want to show you something very unique. It might sound like I'm a little bit off the topic but I'll bring it back together tomorrow. Notice in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, and we'll look at verse 16. And it says this, Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Okay, he's telling us that we are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells in us. So if the Spirit of God dwells in us, that means we've been endued with power, right? Okay, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and this will be verse 19. Or do you not know that, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you ha have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Again, here he is, Paul, saying that your body is the temple of the living God, the temple of God, the temple of the Spirit of God, and because of that, you've been endued with power. Finally, let's go to 2 Corinthians in chapter 6. And we'll go at verse 16. And what... Agreement has the temple of God with idols, for you are the temple of the living God, as God has said, I will dwell in them and will walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Now here's the thing, if God dwells in you, we all will agree that God is supernatural. In other words, he does things that's pretty mind-blowing to us who live here on earth. But you have the temple, or you are the temple of God. You are the temple of His Spirit. And He has endued you with power. Now, tomorrow I want to show you uh, that this power, what it's used for, remember we looked in, in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, that this power is for you and I to be witnesses that the kingdom of God is at hand. We need to remember that. As, uh, as we study this out. We're going to pick it up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. We love you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.